Hello everyone! Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. So today's video is all on this really cute summer crop top. It's a V-shape. Really simple, very beginner friendly. The written pattern will be in the description. And I think this is like honestly very easy. Anyone at any level can do it. And you can kind of see like mine is like a little bit see-through. I had a limited amount of yarn, so I had to do what I could with what I had. But if you're gonna make this and you want it to be more opaque, I would say instead of doing double crochets to so do half double crochets or even single crochets or any type of stitch that you'd like. What you're gonna need for this tutorial is about 75 grams of yarn. I only had 50, I struggled. You're gonna need a tape measure, your crochet hook. I used a 3.75 crochet hook. The yarn I used was a size three or lightweight yarn but this is very size adjustable to whatever yarn you're using. All you need to start off is this first chain and depending on this is how you make the rest, right? So before we get into the video, I wanna give a huge shout out, a big thank you to today's sponsor, which is, it's Ana Luisa. So Ana Luisa is really kind enough to ship me out some of their gorgeous products. So I've been a little obsessed with Ana Luisa for the past few months. I've seen them all over Instagram. I bet you have as well. So I got this little package, right? And their packaging to start off is very nice and experience. If you're one of those people who like experiences when you get things, this is it. I got three pieces of jewelry. I'll show you a close up in a second, but each of them came in their individual pouches which are like really good material. Like I'm gonna reuse this when I like travel to take my jewelry. I think it's fabulous. And yeah, very wonderful customer service, quick shipping. And one of the things that stood out to me about Ana Luisa is that they're 100% carbon neutral. They're doing their best to you know, be good with our planet. And I think that's a big thumbs up. We should all aim to be a part of that, right? So the first thing that I got, which I was really excited for, because if you don't know, I love rings, but I usually don't splurge on them. Oh, and by the way, I wanna say like Ana Luisa stuff is really high quality and their prices are a great match for what you're getting. It's honestly kind of a bargain. So first things first, I got this ring singlet, I think it's called, right? This collaboration with them was in collab with another YouTuber. Her name is Michelle, Michelle Choi. I love her, by the way. I watch her all the time. And this stone right here is Malachite. So next, I got this really pretty necklace set. Both of these pieces came along. It's matching with Michelle's collection, right? It's the Malachite, really gorgeous if you get them paired together, which I recommend, and this nice chain. Both of them are size adjustable. You can make them shorter and longer as you like. I'm sorry about that construction noise. But then I also got these earrings, which are these really nice classic gold hoops. They're not exactly circular, which I think is a really good plus. It adds a little bit of difference. They're more of like an oval shape. And so far I've been wearing their jewelry for about a week now, and I've had so many compliments on these pieces. Once again, really big thank you to Ana Luisa for sending me over these products. I want to mention that right now they're having a 20% off summer sale. So if you see anything you like, also check out their website. They have gorgeous stuff. If you see anything you like, get them now while they're 20% off for the summer. Get them while you can. And now let's get into the tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. This is gonna be a really easy beginner friendly tutorial on this, I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it yet, like the V-shaped crop top, right? I'm using this Hatton's Brilliant yarn. I got this at the thrift store and I thought it was really pretty. I hope it's enough for my top, but we'll, we'll just see, right? So this is a size three or lightweight yarn and I'm using a size 3.75 millimeter sized hook, right? You can do this accordingly um, using whatever size yarn or hook that you have. You just have to measure it along your body as you go. 
So I see a hair. Okay, so to start off, we're gonna begin with the slip knot. We're gonna hold our yarn like this, X it over, pinch the center, two fingers through, and grab it like so. Or you know, whatever way that you do your slip knots. So we're first gonna start off with this foundation chain. So this chain is gonna be the top of the shirt, like here's your head, right? Shoulders, here's the shirt. It's gonna be the first part and then it's gonna go down into a V. So we want this to be wide enough to cover our breast. So for me, I'm gonna start off with a chain and measure it along my body as I go. And then I'll come back to give you a few of my measurements so you can use it as reference for your measurements, okay? So the chain, we're gonna go under and hook, that's one. Two, three, four, five. Gonna look like this. It's kind of hard to see in this black color, but it's just a bunch of V's. So I'm gonna continue this chain until it's the length that I like or like the width that I want for my top, and I'll be right back. So right here, I'm back with a chain of 40. And now we're gonna begin doing our stitches. So for my piece, I'm gonna do um, double crochets for this whole top. So double crochets can be a just, you know, a little bit more on the see-through side. So if you wanna make this more opaque or not as, as many like holes throughout the piece, I would say do a half double crochet or even single crochets, right? You just won't be following the exact same row count as me, but that's okay, you know? So for me, since this is 40, I'm going to skip the last V, the last chain that I did, and I'm going to go into the second to last one doing my double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, push through that opening, grab the yarn, bring it back, we have three loops on our three loops on our hook. I'm gonna yarn over, pull through two, like so. We have two more. I'm gonna yarn over again and pull through these two. So that is the first one. So again, yarning over, going into that second opening right here, grabbing the yarn, bringing it back. We have three. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over again, pull through two. So we're going to continue this pattern all the way to the end of the chain and I'll show you how to move on to the next row. So yes, again, this is the beginning of the top. So it's very size adjustable. So you see how it has like a bit of holes through the shirt. I mean, through the stitch. That's what double crochets will do, but I think they're really pretty. So that's what I'm gonna do. So like my idea for this shirt is like kind of sexy going out night on the town type of top, you know, a little more scandalous. So I'm using this black glittery yarn. I think it'll be schmexy, schmexy smexy. All right, so here I'm coming to a close end for row one. I have two more stitches to go. I'm gonna do them real quick. Here's the last one. So when you come to the last stitch, all you're gonna do is finish it off, right? Then you're gonna chain two. So one, two. I'm gonna flip our work around. Okay, so for row two, we're gonna do our double crochets, but we're gonna be working through the post, in between the posts. So when you stretch out your work, you're gonna see these huge gaps right? That's what we're going to be working through. Traditionally, you'll go through the top stitch, which is like right here where you have both of the 
lines with the V at the top that runs along top. But for this one, I'm gonna go in between the posts. I'm gonna yarn over, go into that first opening, right, right there. Grab the yarn, bring it back, have three, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two again. So this is just to like clarify again, in between the posts, this um, working with black yarn is honestly not the best for camera. Noted, I did not know that before, but it will literally be in between these spaces, right? I can also throw up an image just to clarify as well. But we're gonna keep doing these double crochets in between the posts all the way to the end of the row. And I'll meet you there to show you how to move on to row three. Okay, so I'm coming to a close end for row two. About to move on to row three. And just what she's looking like. I don't know how well you can tell since it's all black. Again, I apologize, but I, you know, I think you guys can get the gist of it. Hopefully my explanation is doing swell, but if you want extra clarifications, pictures, measurements on exact things, all of that will be in the written pattern, which you can find in my description. So, all right. So this is the last opening on this side right here through and do our our double crochet, right? You're gonna just chain two, one, two, flip our work, and we're gonna continue doing our double crochets in between the posts all the way down here. And I wanna mention when you get to this side, our last stitch will be in between this chain two that we did, which we used the transition rows, and in between that last post, right? That will be the last one. We'll chain two and come back around. So we're gonna continue this going straight all the way until it's long enough to cover your breast. And then we're gonna move on to the V section. So I'll be back once I've reached my desired length. And again, the amount of rows, the measurements and everything will be in the written pattern. So I'll be back once I'm done with that portion. All right, so I'm back after I've done a good amount of rows, enough rows to cover my breast area, and now I'm gonna start to go down into the V shape, right? So for this last row, we're gonna finish it off normal, and we're gonna start the decreases on the next row. So let me just finish this up. Last one. I feel like you can see the the cloth way better now. Last clip I did was at night. I should have done it in the morning, but okay. After this, we're just gonna chain two, one, two, flip our work, and to do the first decrease, all you're gonna wanna do is yarn over, go into that first opening, grab the yarn on the other side, bring it back. We have three loops on the the hook. We're going to yarn over again. Then we're going to go into the second opening. Pushing through, grabbing your yarn and pulling it back. Now we have five, right? We're going to yarn over again and pull this one through the first four and you're going to stop with the last one like so. Now we have two. And you're going to yarn over again and pull this one through those two. So that is gonna be the first decrease. And now we're just gonna do normal one double crochet into each of these openings until we reach this last side. And when you're at the last two openings, you know, in between the chain two, excuse me, <laughs> in between the chain two and the last post and in between this post and this post, right? The last two openings. Then I'm gonna show you how to do another decrease, so. From now on, we're gonna decrease at the beginning and end of each row all the way until it reaches a very nice B point, right? So I'm gonna continue just normally and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm coming to the end of that row to show you how to decrease one more time. So again, you wanna have the last two openings, so right here, the chain two and the post, and in between these posts. So I have one more normal double crochet. And then to decrease, you're gonna yarn over, go into that first opening, grab the yarn on the other side, bring it back. And we have three loops on our hook. I'm gonna yarn over again. Then we're gonna go into that last opening right there, grab the yarn on the other side, bring it back. Now we have five. Do we? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Get a yarn over. You're gonna pull this one through four, and we're gonna leave this last one like so. Now we have two, yarn over and pull through two. Again, chain two in between each row. This pattern is a little like sheet through. So like, I'm just saying if you guys want it to be like um, thicker in this area, I would say maybe do, you can do single crochets or you could also do half double crochets. I did double crochets because I don't have a lot of yarn and I don't know. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have done single crochets, but I don't think I would have had enough yarn for the whole top, but it's okay. If you end up making it like this too, you can also wear like nipple pasties and it will really help, right? Or you can wear it as a beach cover up. I don't know. So again, to decrease, you're going to yarn over, go into this first opening, grab the yarn, your yarn on the other side, bring it back. We have three. Yarn over, go into that next opening, grab the yarn, bring it back. We have five. Yarn over again and pull this one through four. Like so, yarn over and pull through two. That is our second decrease. So your work is slowly going to start to come in more and shape into a V. So we're going to continue this on either side all the way until it comes to a point. So I'll meet you back when I'm, when it's really close to like finishing off to show you how I finish it off. All right. Okay. Okay, so I'm back. Let me pull you out a little to see what she's looking like so far. Honestly, very simple, just straight V, right? And now I'm at this point where I have five stitches left and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna finish this off. So I just chained two. My yarn is literally, my, my pull it up. I'm, I'm on edge with my yarn. I'm like, it's almost done. <laughs> but I don't know if it's gonna be enough for the straps. If not, the straps might be a different color, which can be a vibe, but can also ruin the shirt. So we'll see. So I'm gonna, I have five stitches left. So I'm gonna decrease right here. And then I'm gonna save these last two. So I have one normal double crochet. And now I'm gonna decrease again. Okay, now we have two right here. I'm gonna chain two. One, two, flip my work. And I'm going to decrease. So yarning over, going into the first one, grabbing it, yarn over, go. We have three actually. So. Let me just explain it a little clearer. So we have three openings, one, two, and then the chain two in between that last post. So you're gonna yarn over, go into the first one, grab the yarn, bring it back. Yarn over, go into the next one, grab the yarn, bring it back. We have five, right? But I'm just gonna end it off here. So I'm gonna yarn over again, go into this last opening, bring it back. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna yarn over, pull through, all of them except the last one, like so, we have two left. Yarn over, pull through there, okay? And then I'm just gonna chain one, pull my thread through a bit, grab my scissors, and I'm gonna cut this off. Okay, you can tighten this little piece off, and we're gonna weave it back up. So I'm gonna weave it along my left side 
because it's more for coverage. So you won't see it as much. So I'm gonna poke through and literally just pull it in and out, in and out. We're gonna attach the strap pieces, okay? Let me adjust this just a little. This is my little tripod. So I think this might just be enough for the whole top. So let's see, I have this whole um, ball of yarn I had was 50 grams. So I would say at least have 75 grams just in case, but I'm gonna attach myself. I was gonna attach it right where that first square right before we started decreasing the rectangle, I was gonna slip stitch through there and then chain it off, but I don't think I have enough. So I'm gonna go like one, two, three rows down and attach myself. Okay, it's a double knot. Two, oops. And yeah, I'm gonna begin with chaining one and I'm gonna slip stitch my way through here. So I'm at this top corner. Oops. Moving that along, and I'm going to chain this off. I don't know if I should really chain it off or if I should just let it be, but this is the string that we first started with. I'm gonna end up weaving it down along here and this so you don't see it as much. What is that noise? I'm literally gonna pull this through because if you if you have enough, chain it all the way until it's a length enough that it can tie around you in the back. But I don't think I have enough, so I'm literally just gonna pull through and I'm gonna tie it with the yarn. I'm just gonna like knot off right there. And then I'm gonna measure it off so it's enough to wrap around me. So I'll be back once I do that little measurement, okay? All right, so I attached one and I'm gonna show you how to strap it off. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this other side. And yes. So let me quickly attach this again. I can show you once again, pulling through, placing a double knot. Going through that opening and pull it back and I'm gonna chain one. Sorry for the construction noises. And we're gonna slip stitch our way through this. Until we reach, oh wait, you're sorry, you're not in the frame. Until we reach the top corner. All right, and then we're gonna chain off. Chain two, I pull this through because I am on the edge with the yarn. So yeah, I'm gonna weave this in really quickly. Okay, and I'm gonna pull you out. So this is the top right now, right? This is gonna be the back side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, let's say we're starting off with the right side. We're gonna X this over to a center point on this section, the rectangle where we just went straight. I'm gonna push through an opening, grab it, and ooh, 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 sorry, and pull it through, right? 
And then I'm gonna X that same one over to that last corner where we went straight or around where we did the first decrease. Push it through and I'm gonna pull our strip through. All right, so at the end of my bits, I'm just adding a few knots so it doesn't undo itself, right? Because the yarn I'm using, it's kind of like, it undoes itself a bit, so. If you need to, you can also do this. Not always necessary, but yes. So then, now that we have this left side, strap okay oop, oop. i'm like all over the place right now okay left side strap i'm gonna follow the same row that we attached ourselves just go all the way on the other side and i'm gonna push my hook through there and i'm gonna pull this yarn through And then I'm gonna exit over again to this bottom section. Also like taking a look at this side and making sure it's about the same row. Pushing through, grabbing the yarn and pulling it through. And yeah, at this point, the top is done. My strings are a little thin. I would suggest chaining it so it's more sturdy. But like this is all the yarn I had left. So you know, you gotta do what you gotta do at the ending sometimes. But then we're just gonna tie it off right here. All right, tie it off. It'll be nice and packless, you know? And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you end up creating it, please let me know. Tag me on Instagram or on TikTok here at Lala Perez. And yes, I hope you liked it. I hope you had fun. I hope it was like a good, easy, fun summer project. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Once again, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. If you see anything you like, make sure to check them out right now while they're having their 20% off summer sale. If you get something, I hope you really enjoy. So see you guys in the next video. Peace.